Santiago pulling out the Sora. Yeah, just you have to always keep your composure. Yeah, just try to keep the nerves down. You know, you're always gonna get a little bit of anxious, a little anxious, but when you let everything uh overwhelm you, that's when you don't perform well. That's when you have bad reactions to losing and stuff like that. So pretty good advice, Phantom. Yo, what's going on, Silver Lake? Welcome back aboard to Salt Spatoon. We are in our loser semi-final match right now, which again, guys, is going to be, I decided that this is also going to be best of five here. Yeah, yeah, sure. What do you what do you do? What is your management for your nerves when you go to tournaments, Phantom? Now, I believe this is actually the first match of Santiago's that we've seen on stream today. Something tell me, man. Like, like Sergeant Nair is, is my pick for the tournament because, you know, Link. But I feel like Santiago is like the underdog, bro. I've seen this man adapt, come back, and what a gimp attack. You chew gum to not get no nervous? That's actually pretty smart. Give yourself something to focus on, focusing on the flavor of the gum, the, the actions of chewing with your jaw. Even the sound it makes could be uh, like your jaw, like, like crunching, like could even be uh, cathartic in a sense. That's actually a pretty good technique. You're just trying to breathe and play smart. Controlling your breath is the, uh, a really good way to control anxiety. You get to calm down your body when you're, when you, uh, you kind of like accidentally trigger your fight or fight response. Now, speaking of fight or flight, this is looking really interesting. Santiago is hitting uh, a Silver Surfer pretty hard here. And that early gimp means a lot. That was an inter interesting interaction with the counter, but it didn't matter. My man got off the double forward air. Santiago managed to block the first volley of up airs, but not the second one. Oh, what an angle. Fortunately, could not avoid the big suck. But you gotta, you gotta watch out. We're playing with the Penguino in the air. He's been cooking with the back airs this entire tournament. Oh, it wasn't enough for KO, but that'll do it. Listen, you can play sore if you want, bro. There's nothing stopping you. Oh, oh. Okay, this back throw is not going to be enough to kill Santiago on his last stock, but you know, the Pinguino's looking a little hurt. If he could, if Santiago could somehow manage to secure this stock, he'd be able to really close the gap. Oh, there he goes. Santiago gets the KO 39%. It's not the end of the world. He's just going to have to watch his neck because taking hits like that is dangerous. Sora is so floaty, so light in this game. Look at look at where it sent Sora. Oh, that counter could have been huge. Nice down smash from Silver Surfer. Is he close to taking the first game in his loser semifinals? Can Santiago come back? He does, but he eats the up tilt. Oh! That was powerful. And just like that, Silver Surfer takes the first as the random stages and some other rules where the Star GG racket is gonna look a lot closer to what people are normally used to for Smash tournaments online. We balling, baby. My man brought out Kazuya. I don't think I've ever seen, I don't think I've ever seen this man play this character. Has he been labbing him? Is this the character that Santiago was talking about? Oh, the footstool. Santiago was not. He went for the gimp, but he got footstooled. He was unable to come back. That must be disastrous for the self-esteem right there. Oh, nice grab. Oh. Oh, missed the hook shot. He delayed the jab string a little too long. Nice up tilt. Oh. Okay, Santiago's getting in, but he doesn't, he isn't able, the Pinguino is able to get out of the 10 hit combo. Oh, huge suck here. Woo, that, Gord, that Gordo could have spelled disaster. Nice up B from Santiago, allowing him to get back on the stage. Are we about to lose, take a stock here? You know, even if Kazuya is losing, oh, he got sat on by Pinguino. 
Oh, what a counter. All right, Silver uh, Silver Surfer is up two holes. Ah, and that, is that it? That is it. Santiago tried his absolute hardest to get back on the stage, but my man Silver Surfer takes another game, making the score 2-0. That means that if he wins the next game, he gets to move on and play against uh, Sergeant Nair in the loser and loser finals for a chance to go up to grand finals and fight the fans. Roller have enough in his kit to just overwhelm DDD in most of DDD's approaches. He's it's Sans Undertales. This is his last shot. He has to go hard for this. Oh. The DDD shield break into the bite at 89 while DDD taunts. I'm crying. Oh, Santiago was going for the Dr. Disrespect. Was able to get back on the stage. DDD is looking hurt here at some high percentages. But Silver Slow Surfer is slowly bringing that damage up. Gets punished with an up smash. Oh, went for the hardest read. Went for the up tilt. Wasn't spaced out far enough. Were we getting some Gordo action? Woo! My man went off the stage to that one, and he's landing them. Santiago's really going to have to uh, try to avoid these. Silver Surfer was able to close the gap. Let's see how this interaction ends off. Whoever gets hit with a big hit is going down, and that will be Silver Surfer with the up tilt. Oh, my man got some offstage bombos. Nice up tilt. Nice up air. He's really distancing himself from Santiago stock and percentage wise. Another beautifully well-timed dash attack. He gets the hammer, a perfect parry from Santiago. And we get up smash for KO. Yo, what's going on, my man? Asadula, welcome back aboard. <laughs> Salt two. Thirty minutes heating up and a down smash takes Santiago down another stock. Will Santiago be able to blow through DDD or will he go down? And he went down and he went down, down, down. Silver Surfer taking this game and moving on to losers finals, which will be against, uh, uh, which will be against, uh, Sergeant Nair.